Today we are going to be looking at Roman numerals, which is maths. That is old school. 2,800 years old school. Let's get started. So, what are Roman numerals? You may be asking. Well, Roman numerals are the characters and symbols used by the ancient Romans in their counting system. The numbers are made up of the letters I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. As you can tell, this dude here is thinking, yeah, Roman numerals are great. So you might be wondering, how do you use letters to count? Or how do you use letters for numbers? Let's keep learning. Why are Roman numerals important? They are still important today as they are a different way of using numbers. You might see them used on clocks or sundials. Here is a fun fact. They are used when referring to the release date of a book or movie. So people don't focus on how old the book or movie is and judge it based on that. So as you can see, this little dude here is thinking, I wonder how old this book is. Oh well, it doesn't matter, it's just a great book. So here is a helpful chart of the Roman numerals and we're kind of translating those Roman numerals to the numbers that you are most familiar with. So we're going to be learning how to count with Roman numerals and there might be some things that I need to remind myself of as well so we can be learning this together. Let's have a look. How to count. Now that you know the numbers, we can figure out the ones in between. I equals one, two I's equals two, and three I's equals three. I think we can follow along with that one. And it gets a little bit trickier from now on. IV is the number four, because V means the number five. And if we put an I, in front of the V, that means one number before five. So IV means one number before five, which is four. See what I mean about being tricky? Let's look at some of these other numbers. I before V is one before five, which equals four. And I after V is one after five, which equals six. So, IV equals 4, V equals 5, and VI equals 6. Then it gets a little bit easier if we're keeping up with this pattern. V with two I's after it is V plus two ones, which equals 7. And then if we have a V with three I's after it, it is V and three ones, which equals 8. Are you keeping up? Now we're going to change and we're adding another letter in there which might make it a little bit more complicated. We have I and an X which equals 9 because X equals 10 and if we have an I before the X it is one number before 10 which is 9. Now you can count to 20 using the numbers we already know with 10 at the beginning. So 14 is 10 plus 4. So we know that 10 is X and we know that 4 is I before V. So 14 is X, I, V. Right, maybe you could pause the video here and if you were able to figure out how to write the number 14, then maybe you'll be able to figure out how to write some of the other numbers between 10 and 20. Remember, you can go back to the other parts in the video where it breaks it down, or you can use the handy chart that we showed earlier. Right, let's look at numbers that are after 20. We know that 10 is an X. So 20 equals two lots of 10. So that means there's going to be two X's. So we can use that for other numbers as well. 30 are three lots of 10, so we have three X's. 
40 is a little bit different. So how five was the letter V, 50 is the letter L. So we need to put an X before the L because X before the L means 10 numbers before 50. And 10 numbers before 50 equals 40. Now we know that L equals 50. And the same pattern that we used for 40, we're going to use for the number 60. If we have L, which equals 50, and then an X after it, that is 50 plus 10, which equals 60. Oh my goodness, this really is getting complicated, isn't it? Hopefully you are able to keep up. Okay, now we're getting into the bigger numbers. We have got the Roman numerals LXX. So using the knowledge that we already have, we can tell that that is the number 70. L which equals 50 plus two lots of 10, which equals 70. And the same for 80, we have L which equals 50, and then three lots of 10 in the X's, which makes it 80. Now, the number 90 is where it changes again. So the number 100, we use the Roman numeral of C. So to make 90, it is going to be 10 before C. We know 10 is X, so we're gonna put an X and then a C, which shows us that it's 10 numbers before 100, which equals 90. So using that knowledge that we've already talked about, I want you to pause the video here and see if you can write the Roman numerals for these familiar numbers that we have up on the screen. You can either go back in the video, you can use the chart, or maybe you could work with the people who are around you and you can all try and solve what Roman numerals you would use for these numbers here. You do that and I'll see you soon. Okay, how did you go with that? Maybe you did it by yourself, maybe you had some help. Either way, I hope that you've been learning as we go along. On the screen now, I've got the answers for what the Roman numerals are for the numbers that some of us use today. You can have a pause and you can look through and see how many you did the same. Okay, here is your activity to be using Roman numerals. It's just a short activity because this has been quite tricky to get our heads around. Some of you might be thinking, this is easy peasy, but some of you like me might be thinking, oh, I might have to really use my brain and go through and think some more about these Roman numerals. Either way, it's okay. Your activity is to ask all the people in your household what year they were born. Then write that down in the numbers that you use and then using the easy chart that we had earlier in the video, you can write down the years that all the members in your family were born. And if you're feeling really clever, you can write down the year you were born and see what that looks like in Roman numerals. You have fun with that activity and remember I've got other videos to help with your distance learning and learning from home on the Touring Teacher YouTube page. So make sure you go have a look at that as well. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.